If you've ever wanted to create content for Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, any of those things, and you want to use your phone, but you just haven't been able to get good audio out of it, well, I'm using a microphone right now from Ulanzi called the J12. It works with an iPhone or an Android phone under $50 US, and it actually works really well. Let's check it out. Welcome to the Vapor Trail channel. I'm Tony. Yeah, this is what we're looking at today from Ulanzi or Ulanzi. I think I'm saying it right either way. This is called the J12. It's a wireless microphone. And if you're doing blogging or content creation or anything like that, and you want to use your phone, there aren't a lot of choices out there that are any good. I've actually bought an adapter to use with my $600 wireless Sennheiser microphones. But even that is a little bit, you know, it's just, it's cumbersome, especially if, if you're trying to be portable. So looking for solutions, I have bought a couple of them and they've just been so bad I didn't bother putting them here on the channel. I get a lot of people that ask me questions about, well, what kind of equipment do you use? And sometimes the iPhone 12, I've got an iPhone 12 Pro, is just the best thing for the job. But how do you get good audio? Well, this is something that might be your solution right here. Again, it's called the J12 wireless microphone. It's got one connector receiver for two microphones. Now this is the lightning edition. They also have one with a USB-C. So if you've got an Android phone or whatever, so it's not just iPhone. Over here on the side, it says it has clear timber, highly sensitive, widely compatible, plug and play, 20 meters of accessible reception and precise radio. Now I did a test with this thing. I'm going to show you that here in just a minute, but I was like, okay, how far can I really go on this thing? We have a very long pier in my neighborhood and I didn't do like a precise measurement of feet. I just did, you know, walking it out and see how many feet I got out to about 60, 65 feet. That is way farther than I'm ever going to be away from a receiver for a microphone. So I was pretty happy. There were a couple of little cutouts that was because I turned my back to the camera and your body will block the audio sometimes or I should say the signal but aside from that it was perfect and that's how easy it is to use three steps one two three I'll show you just a second specs on here you get one receiver for two microphones so if you're doing an interview or something you've got that support three levels of noise reduction it does do that and what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to use my iPhone to do my on-camera stuff so we'll use this microphone and that and you'll see what I'm talking about and the battery capacity 80 milliamp hours that's uh, that's pretty darn good for as small as this thing is and the charging case this comes with the charging case just kind of like the earpods pro or whatever has an 800 milliamp hour battery in it so it'll charge those things over and over again vlog now using Ulanzi vlog and that is that's one of the kind of tenants is that they like to make products that are accessible, won't break the bank, and are actually good for doing vlogging and stuff. So we'll open this up. All right, there was a manual there, and this is the manual right here. Again, super, super easy. They line everything out for you on the diagram, and then one, two, three, and you're good to go. It does have a little USB on the side of it, the, um, the receiver does, but the receiver does not need to be charged. It's just there, so it's passed through. So if you are doing something, I don't know, you're doing a long interview with somebody, and you know your battery's going to go down on your phone, you get a power bank, plug it in straight to the side of the little receiver. And it does have a little bit about the UI. There's no user interface other than the little lights. So you can switch the noise reduction level by pressing the key on the side to switch up the three level cycle and turn. I'll show you all that in just a minute. All right, so a little box down here. I never opened this because it just has a USB cable. And I've got tons of those around here, but USB-C. A little QC certificate. And then we've got this little case. You plug it in right down there to charge it. Again, 800 milliamp hours inside this case. You open it up and there's microphone one, two, and the receiver. So it's super easy. Take one of these things out of here. Take both of them out of here if you want. Put them back in there and you'll see a little red light comes on telling you that it's charging. It won't charge very long because it's already charged up. It'll turn off here in just a minute and then boom, take this out. And that is your receiver. And that's it. Very simple package. And it seems to me that's one of the things that they wanted to do is just keep everything simple. So I'll take my phone, open her up. We're going to plug this in there. And that's it. As soon as we... Oh, I do want to tell you, there's a little red light that needs to come on in there and blink. But this case is old and it's really like loose. So I was having problems with basically the case would push this thing just a little bit loose and then it would lose connection. So either I make the hole bigger there, get a different case, or you know what, I just take this thing off. So when I'm using this with this microphone, I'm just taking the case off of it 
I'm going to plug this in. Boom. Now we're good and solid. You'll see that the little light is blinking there. And as soon as I take one of these and I hit the button, it comes on. It was red for a second. Now it's green. And now you'll see that that light is solid on there. So we're good to go. This thing is actually hooked up and ready to go. That's it. Now this button right here is an on and off button. So if you want to turn it off, we'll just hold that down. And now it's off. Turn it back on. You see how fast it connected, so that is really good. There's a USB over there in case you need to charge these without the case. But what you'll do if you want to change the noise reduction levels, you're just going to hit the button once. And then it's going to blink at you. So that's level three. And back to one. So again. Alright, so as you can see, it's really easy to switch through those modes as well. It does have a mute function, so if you do this twice, one, two, now it's muted. And I, you know, I don't know why this is really on here, but I mean, you know, it's kind of cool. It's got reverberation, so if you want to sound like you're in a big hall or something like that, you can hit this three times, one, two, three. And now it's in reverberation mode. So that's pretty much it with what's in the box and how it works. Let's go ahead and switch around. I'm going to use my iPhone now to film the FaceTime portion of this. So yeah, I was super pleasantly surprised with this. I'm not so surprised because Ulanzi makes, I don't know if it's Ulanzi or Ulanzi, but they make really good products that don't break the bank. Like I say, I've tried several of these things, you know, anywhere from $35 to $80. None of them have been worth even sharing here on the channel. So I get questions all the time from people like, hey, I'm trying to get a YouTube channel going and all I have is my phone. What can I use to get good audio? Well, I've got Sennheiser microphones, these things right here. I mean, they're 600 bucks for these things for a set of them. They work great. That's what I usually use, but I'm using this right now on my iPhone 12 Pro. I think it's coming out pretty darn good. You know, my day job is I have a photo, video, and voiceover business, and I always say the best camera is the one that you have with you. And often your phone, nowadays they're really good quality, but often your phone is the one that, that you've got with you. iPhone shoots a 4K, so if you can get some good audio into it, you're, you're really well off. The J12 from Ulanzi, I really like it. Here's what we're going to do. I went out to a pier the other day that's in my neighborhood that's a really long pier. I want to say it's about 150 feet long. I grabbed a random guy down there named Daniel and said, hey, would you hold my phone for a minute? Just keep it going on video and watch me walk down the pier. So what you're going to see right now is me walking down the pier. I might fast forward a little bit through the parts where, you know, nothing was going on. But I tried to have a little bit of conversation walking down the pier. You'll notice that it does drop out when I turn my body, you know, turn my back to the camera. But dude, I want you to think about how far away I was from this thing. Okay, so this is about 10 feet away from the camera. This is the iPhone 12 Pro, so I'm just gonna walk on down this pier. Now, when I turn my back, I'm just gonna test to see whether this thing is still keeping the connection because, well, sometimes you want to block the, um, you know, block the signal. So we'll turn around now and I'm just gonna walk backwards here. Walking and walking and walking. It's a beautiful day out here today. And what a great place to shoot this at. This pier, I wanna say it's about 150 feet. And we're pretty far away now, so let's see. I can tell by the little light on whether or not it is still connected. If it stays green, it's still connected. If it starts flashing green and red, then it's not. So I'm just going to go until it stops flashing. All right, we're walking down here. All right, All green. Okay, we're pretty far down. So I don't know if it's still getting this, but we'll see. All right, turn around here. This is pretty darn far, man. If this microphone is catching this now, that's uh, that's farther than I'll ever be away from it. So I'm just going to head back. So that's, uh, wow, okay. That's pretty amazing, especially for under $45. So, all right, so I'm going to start counting steps. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. So that is a very unscientific way to count out feet, but Hey, look, if I got 50 to 60 steps out from the end of that pier, from uh, two thirds of the way down that pier, 
That is really good for a, a very inexpensive wireless microphone that just hooks up to your phone. So that is super impressive to me. I have a lot of professional video equipment and this microphone really does a good job. And you also notice that I was out on the middle of, you know, on a, on a pier over the water, there was wind going and I was only on the one setting for the noise reduction, which does help to cut out some of the wind and stuff like that. You can barely tell that there was even any wind going out there. Let's do this because I haven't done this yet. I'm going to do this. I'm going to click this three times. One, two, three. Uh, and then let's, let's see, that, that should, should be, be noise, reduction noise reduction number one. That, that is, is the, the next, next noise reduction. reduction. That, that, that looked like three, three flashes, flashes there. there. Okay, there's one. Or maybe that's one. I'm getting a little bit confused sometimes with it. That's why you really want to make sure that you know what setting you're on before you start doing anything crucial. But I'm doing this on the fly, obviously. So there's, I think that's setting number two. So you've got, I had two flashes there. And that was three flashes, so I'm going to guess that that is setting number three for noise reduction. Look, I'm just saying that for under 50 bucks, this is a heck of a good little kit. And if you're somebody who's trying to make content and you, you can't afford $600 wireless mics from Sennheiser or, you know, a Sony camera like I've got over here, but I normally use that is $1,000 plus $1,000 for the lenses, you get what I'm saying. Your phone and a mic like this, and you should be able to make some really good content. Okay, one thing I haven't done yet is test out both microphones at the same time. I've been using one, but I've got my wife here to help assist me. You can kind of step over here if you like. All right, and what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna turn this on. All right, so both of them are connected. I got the green light. I'm just gonna pin this on your shirt here for a second. All right, so uh, how you doing? Good. All right, you're a little nervous on microphone and on camera? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I'm just trying to ask you a quick, do you like purses? Yeah. What kind of purses do you like? Every kind. You gotta any speak kind, up a little any bit. Any kind, every kind. You don't have to talk to my mic, talk to that one. <laughs> <laughs> All, right, All right, do me a favor, walk into the other room. I'm gonna have you walk down the hallway there. Just walk out there. All right, stop right there. Okay, so um, what is, uh, what's our dog's name? Luke. You got no more of that? What kind of dog is he? Luke the peek poo <laughs> Yeah, okay, well, cool. All right, I just wanted to test out both microphones. If I was doing an interview or something like that, then uh, I would be able to sit here and talk with somebody else and both microphones would be working at the same time. So, that's nice. That is the Ulanzi or Ulanzi J12, and I, I'm impressed. I want to thank you so much for your support here on the channel. Likes, comments, shares, subscriptions are always very important to my channel. So if you like what you see, hit the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, there is a red subscribe button down there. If you click that and the notification bell, you'll get notifications when I upload new videos. I really want to say thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for watching this channel. I've been around since 2013. In the last year or so, kind of diversifying the content and putting things that are my passion because that's really what this has always been about. And I know a lot of people are asking about the equipment that I use and what they could use to get started. And this is is, well, this is a good example. Of it. I do have the super thanks button down there. If you want to click that and toss me a buck or two, that would be wonderful because it is not inexpensive to run this channel. I've got a, my eyes on a couple of different electric skateboards and bikes and things like that, that I would love to show you here on the channel, but I got to buy them first. So every dollar counts. I also have links down there for my social media. So if you have one of those, I'd appreciate a follow. And that's going to do it for this episode. Catch you next time on the Vapor Trail channel.